All right, happy Tuesday, Quan City meteorologist Kevin Phelps here. We continue to track uh, more freezing rain here off to our east, but you can kind of see that it's, everything's kind of changing over to snow as we speak. So um, I do think uh, we'll see this moderate heavy band of snow from Muscatine through the Quad City Savannah uh, kind of lift out of here over the next hour and a half, and then winds really begin to pick up this afternoon. So uh, roads certainly going to be impacted off and on all day long uh, with more sleet here than snow in the Quad Cities and for many areas. It's compacted everything down, so blowing and drifting doesn't appear to be a huge issue, but as the winds pick up and we have additional snow showers this afternoon, I fully expect to see uh, some lower visibilities and some problems from that. You can see the snow showers uh, pretty much track all the way back into northwest Iowa. And that's all going to swing through, and it's not until about 6 and 7 o'clock that we'll be snow-free across our area. So by 10 o'clock, you'll start to notice those winds picking up. Most of the heavy snow is out of the area, but we'll still have these snow bands continuing off and on. So you'll see fluctuating visibility and traveling conditions here today. But by this afternoon, windy for everybody, gust to 30 and 40 miles per hour. It means you could have that slick evening commute. Everything kind of freezes up again here uh, as we get into the overnight hours and the evening time frame. So we're not adding much much, if any, snow here today. So not really going to be the big deal, but as winds pick up, low visibility, uh, where we have uh, the, most of the snow is from Dubuque through Iowa City, Cedar Rapids, picking up close to eight inches in those areas. Uh, blowing and drifting is likely in that area, but uh, the further south and east you had where we had more sleet mixing in, not as big of a deal. So we had the slick evening morning commute as well, uh, but uh, some school delays are likely on Wednesday. I think some of those open and rural areas still going to be a little bit icy here tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll put the wind at the moderate because it'll re reduce visibility, but in terms of blowing and drifting, not a huge issue. So download the QC Weather app. Uh, feel free to stream us. So uh, Of course, we'll be updating videos off and on here throughout the day. In fact, I just posted a, a new update on there about 10 minutes ago, and we'll be doing one in about another hour, hour and a half. So first third day continues here today. We're in the upper 30s for Valentine's Day. Another little system travels through on Friday, but doesn't appear to be a big deal for our area.